we're still discussing the Dreamweaver interface and the next thing we're going to talk about is this thing right here called the Properties Inspector. The Properties Inspector, it's this area down at the bottom, will change depending on what you have selected. So um, by default it's at the bottom of the screen and if you end up losing your Properties Inspector you can always reset your workspace layout designer and then after that go and choose workspace layout again and choose reset designer. Um, if you um, for some reason don't want to do that you can always just see like here I can make it go away window properties window properties and it comes back. So we use this a lot you can switch you can look at the CSS side of the properties inspector or the HTML side of it I usually leave it on the HTML side um, and then you want to make sure there's a little triangle and if your properties inspector looks like this you want to click that little triangle at the very bottom of your screen um, in that panel area to show everything because there'll be things that will come up that um, that are in here that you sometimes need um, that you know don't show if you have this condensed like so. So that's pretty much how I leave the properties inspector. Again, let me remind you that we have a thing called code view, design view, and split view. And I typically work in split view. Now, there is an area over here um, that's pretty important. It's your files panel. And um, I, you know, I'll be referencing it quite a bit so that, you know, so I'll say, you know, you need to look at, at what's in your files panel. Um, I prefer to leave it docked um, when I work and I expand it out like that. So if you need to, you can take it out like this and then bring it in with this business catalyst thing and then it might be a little easier for you to expand out a bit. Um, if you have a larger monitor and um, you want to see that at all times, uh, you can bring it out like so. I mean you can do, you can work in it however you like, but this would be another way because sometimes you're using the CSS panel and you want that to be wider. So, you know, there's options here. You just need to know that I, when I'm doing the videos, I'm going to keep it um, docked most of the time. Assets, I use once in a while. I might bring that up here. Um, but files, I use quite a bit. So, um, the files panel, this is going to show you what files are making up your website. The way that Dreamweaver knows what files are making up your website is um, when you tell it where your files are on your computer. Telling it where your files are on your computer is known as defining a site and it is the thing that you need to do whenever you come into the computer lab to work you need to first define your site. When you leave the computer lab before you close down your computer you need to remove your site which does not remove your files from the computer. It just makes it where Dreamweaver doesn't know that that project exists. Um, then you need to copy your entire folder that holds all of your files for your website and drag that onto your thumb drive. When you are working at home, you can define your site and one time and leave it. Um, the thing that you'll need to do is uh, just if say you're working at home you have a folder on your desktop that has all of your files in it then you come to class and you you have that same project that you've taken you've taken that whole folder that has all of your files on it from your home computer and you drag you, you, you dragged it onto your thumb drive um, then you come into class you drag that folder onto the desktop for class define your site you do your work, you remove your site from Dreamweaver, you drag your files back onto your thumb drive, take them home, plug in your thumb drive, and then you're going to drag you're going to drag your your folder from your thumb drive back onto your computer and it'll say do you want to replace the files this these these already exist and you say yes. So you won't have to redefine your site at home.
you will need to redefine it every time you come to class. Ideally, you will be replacing the files that you work on in class. You'll go home and take whatever's on your thumb drive, replace the files that are on your desktop with the ones from your thumb drive. Um, if you are working on a laptop, then just work on the laptop. Don't You don't have to work on the school computer. You just have to bring your laptop in. And that's the easiest way to go when you have a laptop. So for those of you that aren't clear about how do I, what am I doing, I'm doing what, dragging here, dragging there, I don't understand, um, just ask me. It's very, very important that you understand how all that works so you don't break your project. If you're working on a desktop at home and the lab computer at school, it's very, very important and you will have to do work at school. You can't just work at home. Um, the next video is going to cover how to define a site in Dreamweaver and that is, again, defining a site is telling Dreamweaver where those files are on your computer for your website.